Three two minute rounds of K1 action. Daniel McManus in the blue, Dennis George Me in the red. Daniel with the black gloves, Dennis with the red. Straight black shorts for Daniel, black with the red trim. For Dennis, Daniel from CBK, Dennis from the KO gym, Daniel the slightly tall, the two looking to put Dennis under pressure. Dennis now spins, so he's centering, slips there as he came forward, Daniel, no knockdown. Dennis looks to capitalise rear leg, but Daniel closed the gap and a big roundhouse kick there. Doubles up on his own kick, second one to the leg from Dennis. Again, good matchmaking here, nice solid start from both men, but it's Daniel just looking to keep Dennis under pressure when he pushes forward. Nice round kick off the lead and rear leg from Dennis, good momentum from the two. Back and forward, push kick off the rear leg and then the right hand over the top from Daniel. Dennis looks to respond. Competitive opening round. Jumps in on the angle with that right leg. But Daniel comes forward again with the boxing over the top. Steps away from the kick. Throws the jab cross as Dennis turns. Nice footwork from both young men. Impressed with their movement and their mobility. And their balance on Nice work to the body there from Daniel. Dennis looks to reply immediately. Daniel steps in, nice little uppercut, again, see the way Dennis turned there to throw his own kick, that was a slip, not a knockdown, despite the scream of yeah from one of the overexcited audience members, it was just a slip, it's a good measured opening round from both young men, nice knee there from Daniel, replied immediately from Dennis, it's been good, nip and tuck, back and forward, nicely matched, So, round two or three, and they're straight back in the centre of the ring, and you can see the mobility once more on the movement of both young men. Neither wants to give ground early here in the second. And again, it's consistent quality exchanges from them both. Nice pace as well, good control, defensively and offensively. You can see the way they work the angles, that's good guidance, that's good training. It's good schooling from their camps. And it means that for the judges here and myself, it's a very close contest once more. As both push forwards and backwards at regular intervals. So they're ready to go again. And Daniel steps straight forward and Dennis meets him in the centre, throws the knee and then the kick on the turn. Daniel replies in kind, almost mirror images of each other, these two, with the way they approach the bout. And it's made for a fast-paced, entertaining, skillful contest. And it continues to be so, a little right hook and then hooks to the body from Daniel and Dennis happy to stay there in the pocket and trade with him. Round kick from Dennis as he comes forward. Round kick reply from Daniel. 
good stiff left jab from Daniel as Dennis came forward. And so this ebb and flow continues here. The last 10 seconds, nice left of the body from Daniel as Dennis came in. And then a tidy boxing response from his opponent. Two down, one to go, and very little between them in this matchup. So here we go, third and final round. I'm both keen to get going straight away. Dennis looking to force the issue here. A huge third round for one or the other could seal a victory here. As I said, they're mirror images. It's a good, close contest. Good pace, good technique, and it continues. And there again, they turn. And this time it's Daniel turns and throws the knee. Inside leg kick, Dennis responds immediately. And the boxing combinations have been good as well. Both men happy to throw the leather as well as the low kicks. Steps in with the left and right. Spins with the kick, Daniel. Didn't get his head round first, so he didn't quite know where it was landing. Nice right hand to the body, though, from Daniel. Dennis waits, steps back, throws his own left hook. Throws the short knee. Round kick from the lead leg, Dennis. Jab cross Daniel as he steps forward. Throws the push kick, then the right hand. The left and right again on the angle from Dennis in reply. This is what I said about mirror images of each other with very good technique. So, this bout nearing an end, and it doesn't look like either one's going to stop the other. But it's been an intriguing battle, and both having their moments, as you're seeing here, late in this bout. Tough one for the coaches and the judges. They'll be sweating here, because this is another excellent matchup on KBX. Even playing field, 50-50 back, good overhand right there from Daniel. And then Dennis fires back in. Oh, last 10 seconds, which way is this going to go? Because both men are right there at the end still. Which way are the judges going to call this one? I told you it was close and the decision is split. Daniel McManus takes it on split decision. But what a great bout.